Hello, fellow viewers out there, sitting there on your computers, iPhones, iPads, and TVs, or whatever it is you use to watch these videos. My name is Alexander Holliday. I'm the director of this project called Blue Avenger, The Blue Avenger. So just so you know, this is a rated TV MA. So in other words, rated, mature, rated TV for mature audience. So just to let you know, I will be saying some F-bombs. Maybe not a lot, but one or a few F-bombs. I'll be saying, well, just trying to, there will be some violence. There will be some gore, special effects of gore, special effects of violence in this film. So if you're not used to that type of thing, Please click out, click out the video now if you don't want to see that type of stuff. But if those of you who are interested in seeing how I was able to make certain scenes very, you know, groundbreaking and graphically, you know, awesome, please check out what I did for this film. And yes, for anyone who says anything, no, nothing I have is real. None of the props I use are real and none of the props I use are necessarily real. Well, like, despite one prop, that's one of them. It's not a gun, it's the uh, crowbar that I use. So, uh, my apologies to Manny, yes. But, like I said, everything you're going to see is all special effects. Everything you're going to see is all props. Maybe they look a little real, maybe they look a little not so real. But, just so you know, everything is all movie magic. Enjoy this film for what it is. A fun action-packed movie. A guy who is a guy known as Alec Venge comes to Boston. He lost his brother. His brother was murdered and pretty much he finds out more details about what actually happened to his brother and discovers a man named Phantasm Z is the guy who was the true culprit of his brother's demise. So, this is all about the guy who has to get revenge for his brother, that type of story. So, enjoy this film for what it is, and last but not least, enjoy the bloopers. So, Alex Holiday, outro.
Yo, this is Alec. What's good? Alec! So who is he? Who is he? Oh. Oh. Chief. Please tell me you don't have another case for me to do, right? Hey, he's a good old blue finger bag. I know you had a serious huge loss, but just let you know, there's more. What do you mean? Uh, is it a ghost casket? Yeah, Johnny was shot in the head. So, you didn't see a seven hand, right? Okay, Chief. Tell me what you know. The dudes of Z. You must pursue him and his goon. You know I'm done with the whole vigilante thing. But now I know the meaning of true loss. It isn't exactly what I expected. You want a new spin? You got a new spin. Wait a minute. The blue event 
jump creep. I never Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I didn't mean to do that. Please, continue. You were saying something about best intentions. What's the matter? Oh, you were finished. Oh, well, allow me to retort. What does Marcellus Wallace look like? What? What country you from? What? What? What ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English and what? What? English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Yes. Then you know what I'm saying. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. Black. John. He's bald. Does he look like a bitch? What? Does he look like a bitch? No. Then why you try to fuck him like a bitch, Brent? <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did, Brent. You tried to fuck Marcellus Wallace don't like to be fucked by anybody except Mrs. Wallace. You read the Bible, Greg? Yes. Well, there's this passage I got memorized. So it fits his case. Ezekiel 25, 17. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness. For he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord. When I lay my vengeance upon thee. <laughs> so mad there's no control in me my thoughts get so bad i'm like i might grab a bat i don't know my wrath my blood boils over like oh god here goes i lost all feeling from my head to my toes you said some shit that i yes sir
Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, you for good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot knock it off. I'm proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get it off. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I be sitting out, call it with a mouth, can't put me down, I be getting loud. I've been doused, now what I'm about, have your f***ing cloud, it be raining now, I keep making sound, go another round, cause I'm looking down, can't stop me now. Hello to uh, your great granddad, little buddy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's that there are seventeen thousand dollars in this case. You can take it if you want it. No, it's your money. Take it to hell with you, pussy bitch. back good question Hey guys, have you heard the Blue Avenger is back? It's amazing what they say about him. They say he can't be hurt. He can't get get tired and he can't be beaten or broken. It's said that he lives some some uh, somewhere in the Boston Massachusetts area. I don't really know.
and it set the bag on fire. That's the first. Boy, if there's a tarantula in this thing, I'm getting my fucking gun. What the shit is that shitty ass smell? Whoa! Hello, Blue Avenger. It's me, Phantasm Z. If you want me, come and get me. I'm near the Franklin Park Zoo area, near the golf field. Let's go. Yeah. You picked the wrong time. Lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rice in the song to the high. Guy as an assassin found. Yada 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 yada. Whatever. As a matter of fact, let's raise the stakes high. You epically screwed up shit bird. You even get up? I'm gonna blow this person's head open! Oh my god! <laughs> this is between you and me! Don't leave me out of this! Shut up!
No, I am not doing that, but I will do this. You killed my brother! Hurts, doesn't it? Not as bad as what you did to my brother Johnny and this person. Six, 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 six. <laughs> An eye for an eye. Make me blind. Whatever. Person. I was brought up in a culture where I was told to keep my head down, mouth shut, don't cause any trouble, and be the bigger person even if things were not always fair. And I kept that role even when I was the victim. I let offenders get away with their behavior to repeat it probably somewhere else to somebody else. But the more I live, I realize that being the bigger person is a heaping pile of dog shit. If anything, being the quote unquote bigger person kept me as the victim, having to stomach the trauma and let others get off without any repercussions. I have one particular moment when I was a minor with no one to turn to that I had been taken advantage of and I kept my mouth shut. All the years I told myself that I was a bigger person, I'm the winner for forgiving, but even to this day, my biggest regret is that I did not seek revenge. And you see this everywhere, the bullies feed on the weak and the weak even gets weaker. It's an unpopular opinion that revenge is a sin and even the Bible says hatred stirs up conflict but love covers all wrongs, but no. I know nothing in life is fair and square, but being the bigger person and sacrificing has done nothing good for my life.
Don't worry, Johnny. I'm going to send you to your resting place. Something you've been looking forward to living at since you were a kid. Mr. Ains, I didn't expect that you would make such a huge mess. What the hell balls are you trying to do? I'm the Blue Avenger, Chief. So, the Blue Avenger is back. If you, I guess. I can't shave with my eyes closed. If I didn't face Phantasm Z, I couldn't face my family. I refuse to do either one. Mother Tiff! You ain't there, you friend. Just take it down a notch. Blue Avenger is back.
Rolling. And action. He has a person in the color blue following me. Wait a minute. The blue Avenger Creed. Okay, let's go. Oh. Oh, oh, God, that hurt. That must have hurt like hell. Okay, that says... You good? Is that a real crow crowbar? No, it's... Look to me real, but... Are you good? Yeah, I'm good, but like... Ah! <laughs> oh. Oh. I did not know I was that strong. <laughs> I honestly God, did not know I was that strong. Uh, that's when I say my line, right? Yes. Okay, all right, let's try that again. Right, okay, let's try. Again. I'm still rolling, so let's reset, and I'm starting from the top. Okay. Are right, you ready? Now. Wait, does it start with my line? All right. Okay, we're rolling. All right, that's it. Killing. All right, now. All right, good. Hello, and this is the deleted scene for Blue Avenger. So I cut the scene from the film because I just felt like it wasn't necessary. And I reason why I shot the scene was because I like I wanted to show that I had a strobe light. Now those of you who don't know what a strobe light is, is when the lights start flickering like crazy, and you know comes off looking scary. So I wanted to show what he dreams of, but. Sadly, I just felt like, you know, him having a bad dream of him having stuff that's not too scary. I cut it out of the film, and I just felt it wasn't necessary to have it. So, if you see what I did in this film, you might see certain things I was able to do and certain things I was trying to do in that case. So, um, delete the scene. So, enjoy. Huh! <gasps>